that we have a very strong case here, and I want to say from the outset, it's regrettable that I have had to take the government on in the High Courts over the failure to hold the by election in Donegal South West. It's now 16 months since there's been an under representation to the people of my constituency in Donegal South West, and this government's attitude to this case, and indeed to that constituency, has been arrogant and has been dismissive. And the fact that they're defending this, and they didn't have to defend it, they could have moved the writ any time in the last 16 months, but the fact that they're wasting even more taxpayers' money defending a case to suspend democracy is absolutely shameful. And we're, we're expecting a positive outcome from the courts over the next couple of days. They told the Donegal Democrat last week it wasn't about you, it wasn't about Sinn Féin, uh, it was about the people of Donegal. What do you mean by that? Well, it's the people of Donegal. It's 71,000 people in Donegal South West that are being denied their rights. We have a constitutional right to have the vacancy filled. It's in 500 days tomorrow but since that vacancy has occurred. And the people of Donegal South West, like anyone else in the island of Ireland, have rights enshrined on the, under the Constitution. And this government, the government is blatantly abusing those rights that we have. And if you were to be successful, how soon do you think an election could be a by-election could be held? Well, we're hopeful with a positive outcome from this court that we will see an election in Donegal South West before Christmas. Given that the government has said that they, they will move the writs in the first quarter of 2011, is all this a little bit pointless at this stage? Not at all. What they are telling us is they are giving us a vague indication of when the election will take place sometime next year. It is six months away. They have already denied the people of Donegal South West uh, their representation for over 16 months. So this is about taking them head on. Uh, they wouldn't have announced that in the doll if it weren't for this case in the first instance. But I am uh, going to pursue this until we have an election this side of Christmas. And we should also remind ourselves that the government has no mandate to do any of the things that it's doing. And not only does it not have a mandate, but it's actively working against people having a say in what it's doing. This way, Thomas, we're at the mics. Pierce, this way. Yeah. The, Look, the reality is, we wouldn't be here if the government thought that they could win this election. If the government thought that they could secure the seat in Donegal South West, we would have had the election a long time ago. But because it doesn't suit them, because the polls are showing that the electorate will punish them at the polls, they are trying to suspend democracy and they won't get away with it.